Hey guys, welcome back to Spotlight Showcase. I'm Landros, and here we are. We're in the town of Aurora Skies, and my sim, which is uh, Scott Landros, is actually over here. He's about to go into this brand new house. Now, this house was actually built for Aurora Skies, and it was built by 919 Bronco. That's the YouTube username. Now, this house and then this lot, actually, you would have to take out a house that's already pre-existing here, unless you wanted to place it on another 30 by 30 lot. But the, de the developer or designer of this house just actually built it on this lot. So I decided to showcase it exactly where uh, she said it, she or he. I should stop saying gender. I have no idea. I, should, <laughs> I have no clue. Anyway, I'm going to try to showcase it, of course, wherever you build these lots at. If you tell me, I'll try to put it in the same spot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. We've got the walls up. This is a smaller house. It's not one of the more uh, larger ones that I've been showcasing here in the last couple of ones. This one's actually going to cost your sim about 34000 fully furnished. So let me go ahead and zoom on in a little bit more, and you can see that right here it does fit the theme. It has a very dark, woodsy feel, and of course that really goes really well with Aurora Skies. I do love this lot. I love the backyard, and of course, being so far away from town, you are, and if Aurora Skies is really not that big, but you do get to feel a little bit further out of it, and I love the spectacular view that you get from the front yard as well. So the lot itself is gorgeous, and there is a lot here to, to actually offer us. So I'm excited to look at the inside. Now, if you've been watching my Spotlight Showcase series so far, you know I don't look at the houses except just to place them and make sure that they are turned around the right way. I see them for the first time when you guys see them. So it's, this is actually my first time seeing it, and I'm excited to see what we got over here. But I want to go ahead and take a look at the outside, which of course there's not a whole lot out here. Um, this is a 30 by 30 lot, so there's really not a whole lot of room to, to put a whole bunch of things here. But this got my attention real quick because you know how much I love the basketball courts. So the fact that we have one in our house, that's spectacular. And of course, we do have our chest set out here as well. Now during the winter months, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult thing to use, but there's other options here in the town, so that's not too big of an issue. Now, of course, this is spectacular. You've got your golf, uh, golf tee right here, and you can actually just swing away to your heart's content right out there over the ocean, which is something you should never do, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> all right, we have our, uh, looks like another fire pit over here, and I love the actual fire pit that's been chosen here. I love these chairs right now. I need to start using this more in my games because I really, every time I think about it, I forget it, and I always go for just the basic one, but I like this one. This is my favorite one. Okay, we've got our back patio with a barbecue, and so it's a very modest uh, backyard, but there are some things there for you to do, and there's some activities for you. Okay, all right, so my little Sim is here by the mailbox. He's ready to go ahead and go on inside. I'm going to let him do that just right now. All right, I'm going to go, with, well, maybe he's going to go out and sit. Okay, he's going to check out new objects. We're going to go check out the inside. Now, you know I like to go all the way to the bottom, and this house is actually only one story, apparently, and there's no basement, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. It's very open, but what I'd like to do is just put these walls up so we can actually see the house as you would see it on the inside. Okay, when we come in, it's got a very woodsy feel, and the name of this house is The Wooden Shade, and it definitely lives up to its name. Okay, he's going to play basketball. Of course that's my sim. <laughs> you know when that's going to happen. All right, so everything has that very woodsy, rustic feeling to it. And, of course, this computer and everything has actually got the same wood design. I think that's a really cool attention to detail right there. But you've got a nice little computer right here when you come in. This is definitely for a very, either one single sim or maybe a couple that want to actually get started but don't really want to get started with a family right now because there's not much room. There's only one bedroom. And, of course, we've got our kitchen over here with the wood, uh, the wood fire oven. Uh, we've got a nice big table but probably wouldn't need that unless we're having parties. So... Over here now, of course, we have a nice little den area, and got some room over here that we could actually take this. We could use this for more things, but it's also pretty nice if you wanted to have the gift-giving party. You could take this out, move it over to the side, and there would definitely be room to put the, uh, the gifts and everything that they're going to send you. Now, there's a little area over here, a little alcove. Okay, it looks like that is your stereo, and I believe that came with the 70s, 80s, and 90s pack, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't used it yet in any of my games, and I'm, I need to use it, but I'm holding that for a reason. All right, and I believe this one came with it as well, so definitely it gets, it gets high marks for me just for that, because you know how much I like that, that stuff pack. Okay, now of course you've got your one bathroom right here. You've got a sink up here at the very top, at the very front. You have your 
toilet and your shower and of course there's um there's only one entrance into this bathroom so if you got multiple sims uh, you might not want to have them start having a traffic jam for me I probably just for me I probably would have put a door right here that would just be my preference just because I'm I'm the kind of person I panic if I don't have two ways out of a room so it's one of those weird OCD things so that's something I do but um, other than that it's really an easy fix I do like the fact that there are lots of windows here in the back and they're really taking uh, advantage of that spectacular view so you definitely get high marks for that one and of course having the windows in the front um, I probably would not want to have this one blocking that window but you know you do have a really incredible view here as well and of course with the mist and everything rolling in that is really nice I wouldn't want to actually block any of that alright so other than that let's go ahead and take a look up here looks like the roof line has a very interesting um, I like the, the whole interesting curves and whatnot that have been used here this is my probably my biggest downfall I can build the base of the house I can build all of this it's the roof that drives me nuts I can't do it to save my life um, I can do just the basic plain ones but this is what really kills me and I like when other people can do this because I get ideas and I can start to see how it actually comes together but I do like that there's a very interesting combination here of different patterns and whatnot and it actually just gives this character this home a little bit of character and charm all right look at my guy over here um, I think you guys have seen him he's been in every one of mine he's kind of become my little mascot for this series so I'm gonna let him continue to do so uh, and he does of course like the outdoors so this is actually fun for him alright guys well this is actually a house if you'd like to get I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can download it if you like please leave comments I know each of the builders who are being featured here in the spotlight showcase enjoy your comments they enjoy the feedback and time give them ideas of what you like what you would do differently what you might suggest for changes and uh, ways that you might enhance the house so it's wonderful it's wonderful that you guys have this and I would love for anybody who wants to actually put their house out and have other people be able to look at it and give them some information and feedback let me know all I ask is that you do not use the comments just give me a personal message with the link so I can go directly to it otherwise it will take me forever I try to get to these as quickly as I can but of course with all the LPs and whatnot that I'm doing it is a very tight schedule and uploading can take an enormous amount of time and it is something that is just a process I try to get it in there as quickly as I can but I can't guarantee any certain time so if you'd like to submit yours please let me know um, give me the link of it when you give me the link uh, it will actually get me there a lot quicker and your house will actually appear a lot faster okay other than that I do like to know what town you built it in and what lot so I can try to showcase it in exactly the same format that you put it in now I'm gonna go ahead and take this the walls down one more time and that way we can actually see the entire house I do like the fact that one story you can see your sim at all points and you do not have to worry about losing them sometimes in the bigger houses you do lose your sim quickly all right well guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see more submissions coming through I've got a few more I'm trying to work through and then of course I'm looking for some more community lots as well because those are always fun and we can actually use them in some of my other LPs that I've got going so again thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next spotlight showcase take care <laughs>